guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing a New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day, whichever you want to wear it for. If you just want to wear it anytime, whatever, float your boat. Um, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. So, in this video, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Roaring Hearts palette. I love this palette. Here in a minute, I'm going to do like a mini haul for you guys and just show you guys a few makeup items that I got as well as... A little package that one of my fellow youtuber friends sent me all her stuff will be in the description box down below if you want to check it out you'll see in a minute who it is and I'm so excited she's so sweet so definitely check her out so next I'm gonna be filming what I got for Christmas and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got I'm gonna show you what uh, my son got as well and what my husband and I are gonna be giving him once he comes home to give my son the gifts so if you want to see how I got this look and what I use then just keep watching okay so I have a little haul that I want to do for you guys most is from Colourpop the rest is actually from a fellow youtuber friend so I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got but anyway we'll go ahead and start with Colourpop so I actually have a few things from them that I ordered I believe in November most of this is from November I'm just now getting to it. I've been really busy. But the first thing I'm going to show you guys is I ordered this ColourPop Best Friends Super Shock Shadow Duo. Um, and it's called Some Potty, Some Potty, like paws and dog. Some Potty to Love, Mutts About You, and Your Kitten Me. So I believe whenever I did purchase this, a few of the proceedings, like some of it was donated two animals of some sort. I don't remember exactly what it said. If I can find it, I'll list it somewhere on the screen as to what the donation went to, but these are so cute. I remember accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally, but I remember I got on ColourPop one day and I happened to come across these and I went ahead and purchased them. And they're so cute. The inside of the shadows, whenever you open them up, they're actually stamped with paw prints, which is adorable. I can't wait to use those. The next thing I got, I got two of. Um, one was a free one because the other one was broken when it came in and the second one came in broken. So I'm a little upset that both came in broken. But anyway, it is another Super Shock Shadow in the shade Dream Lover. And actually these were stamped with like little stars of some sort, like twinkle stars or whatever. And yeah. You can't even see what they look like because they're busted but so yeah i have two of these off to just press these back down whenever i get the chance the next thing was a holiday collection and um i was super excited to get this palette whenever i first saw that it released i was honestly afraid that it was gonna go and be out of stock i think it's still available i could be wrong if it is everything that i'm able to i will link down in the description below if you want to check it out but this is the ColourPop roaring hearts pressed powder palette and the packaging is gorgeous. Can we just appreciate this packaging? One of my favorite favorite hairs is the Roaring Twenties and this just really stood out to me so I had to get it. I just feel like if there was a time that I was supposed to be born in, if it wasn't this one, it would have been 20. So it is just this beautiful palette. I'm just in love. I think this is the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be playing with today. Um, I have some more palettes that I just hauled for you guys if you had watched that video. Um, I hauled a bunch of makeup recently and I'll be playing with those palettes probably in the new year to come. I don't have time right now, um, hence it took me this long to even haul and play with this stuff. So anyway, the next thing that I got is the ColourPop Oh That Jazz, I can't talk, Super Shock Shadows. And again, these are so pretty. It was this one, and I think there was another duo. But these two stuck out to me the most, and I don't think I have a dark brown like this that's glittery. So I'm really excited to eventually play with this. Next two things that I got are the Fresh Kiss Lip Liqueur in the shades On The Ritz and Scotch Kiss. I do believe that these are really similar in color. This is like this pretty, almost like a burgundy shade. They're pretty similar in color. Um, the Scotch Kiss is a little bit more purpley. So that's what I got from ColourPop, or that's what I ordered. I didn't get it from ColourPop. I ordered from ColourPop. And then, and then what I got from my fellow YouTube friend, she sent me some goodies. 
She's so sweet. Her name's Dee Dee and her channel name is Dee Dee's Beauty, I believe. I'll link her down in the description box if you want to check her out. Her channel is really fun. She does a lot of hauls, especially Dollar Tree hauls. Like I live for those things. Unfortunately, I cannot find as many goodies as she does at my local Dollar Tree, which kind of sucks because she finds like the best stuff. Every time she calls her videos, I'm super jealous because I swear at both Dollar Trees that I live nearby have nothing, literally nothing. And maybe hers is bigger than mine, but every time I've went to either one of those, I cannot find anywhere near the stuff that she finds. And it just makes me kind of sad, but because I feel like I'm missing out. But anyway, she just sent me like a cute little package of just, ooh, of just some nice goodies. And I'm kind of sad that um, it's taken me this long to get around to it, but like I said, I've been super busy. I do plan on doing a chit chat, get ready with me one day. But anyway, so I'll show you what she got me. So she sent me these Ioni 3D Faux Mink lashes. I believe these are from the Dollar Tree. Um, and again, like I cannot find stuff like this at my Dollar Tree. So I'm kind of sad about that. The next thing I got, she sent me a lipstick by Flower Beauty. And I've heard really good things about this brand. I just haven't tried it. So she also sent me this Ioni lash glue. I have not tried this either. So that's really nice. I got this liquid catsuit cream liquid eyeshadow. I got this. I don't really know how I feel about cream eyeshadows. I think I've only tried them like once or twice. Um, I really have to like sit down and play with them, like actually play with them to get, I feel like an actual idea and yeah, just an idea on how I really feel about them. She also sent me this matte liquid lipstick. I actually just sent her a little care package and she might be getting it by the time this video goes up, but I don't know. I just, I really like giving stuff away, especially like pampering slash makeup gifts those are so fun to give and maybe it's just because i like personally shopping for that stuff but anyway she also sent me this flower it's like a potted color play cream eyeshadow it's a really pretty color it's like this deep purpley brown i don't know if it's focusing i can't tell but i got some more lashes by the ioni brand um these must have been out around Halloween because they look like the Day of the Dead theme. So they're super pretty. I'm a sucker for lashes. Honestly, if there's a product I have to have in my makeup collection, it has to be lashes. And then lastly, she sent me this Loved Lip Kit. Um, it looks like a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. So I'm really excited to try these. To, well, I don't honestly, I don't know if I'll be trying them today, but soon I might be doing the lashes today though. I want to do a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I didn't get to do a Christmas one, which I'm kind of sad about, but it's okay. There's always next year. Thank you to Dee Dee for sending me that makeup. I'm so excited to play with it. And I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, as you can tell, I already have my base on my face. I already have my eyebrows and everything done. We're just gonna be playing with the eyes mostly today. Um, I might use one of these, it just depends on the look I come up with because we may end up going with a bolder lip or a more nudier lip. Again, depending on what I come up with. So this right here, this palette seems to be a more nude palette. Not so much, there isn't like a just pop of colors in this palette. There isn't really any of that. It's more on the neutral side but we can still play with that. I'm so excited. Probably something smoky. When I think New Year's, I feel like it's very glitzy and I don't know, I just think gold for some reason. Um, I've seen like silvers and colorful. I think last year I did like a very glittery pink look, but I don't know, this year I'm feeling just like some gold. So that's what we're gonna do today, I think going off this palette that's really all i can honestly do there's a little bit of pink i don't know we'll, we'll just see what we come up with so anyway i need to clean my makeup brushes again it's been a hot minute but i think i'm gonna go in with this mm, pour another which is this, like this nudie tan color we're just gonna go in with that as a transition i'll be looking down here because of my mirror Ooh, this is like super pigmented I don't know if you can see, but it picked the product up nicely. 
and it is applying it super nicely. Okay, now that I have that on my eyes, I think I'm gonna go in with this, that Saks shade, this brown shade right here. This one right here, it's in the middle. Mostly gonna keep it on the outer portion of the eye. I'm feeling more of a brown smoky eye than adding black, but we'll see, just see what happens. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate. I did. This was my son's first Christmas and he got such cute things. Um, we're actually waiting to, well, yeah, I'm waiting mostly. My husband's gotta come home first, but we're gonna wait to do my son's Christmas from us when my husband comes home, which will be here in a few weeks. So from me and my husband, my son hasn't actually technically gotten anything, but yeah, I might show you guys in my upcoming video anyway what he's getting along with what he's already gotten and what I got. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So next, hmm. I'm going to take this Foxtrot, I'm holding this palette so weird. I'm going to take this Foxtrot shade which is right here and I'm, right here, and I'm going to lay it as a base for this gold shade I'm going to be using next. So I'm going to take this flat shader type brush and I'm just going to pack this on. I just want a similar color for the gold to set on. You hear anything in the background my son's watching well he's actually sleeping but i have winnie the pooh on for him and i turn my baby monitor down as far as it'll go but it's sitting here right next to the microphone but i need to be able to see him just in case he wakes up so i apologize <laughs> if you hear like distant background noise from the movie i wasn't really planning on this being like a very chit chatty video but looks like it's gonna be a little bit of that. I'm gonna go in with this flatter brush and I'm going in with the shade Nightlife, this beautiful gold shade right there. I don't know about you guys, maybe it's just me, but I will say this year, I have a me right here. This year did not feel like Christmas or like Christmas. This year just didn't feel very holiday like to me like I guess because it's happened so fast and we just have so much going on right now in our personal life it just it didn't feel the same as it usually does maybe it's just me but just I don't know the holidays this year just felt different it just didn't they didn't feel right I'm gonna take my finger instead because I'm not really getting any satisfaction from using the brush. I could not find my words. Okay, this looks better. It looks like in the eyeshadow itself, it has like hints of silver flakes. I mean, I kind of see it in whenever I use my finger with the brush. I was not getting that at all. It's not like a lot of silver. It's just like here and there, but I'm getting like some silver flakes. And I'm honestly here for it. A few years ago, I did do a New Year's Eve tutorial. And it was honestly, it's sim very similar to this. I used a Morphe palette and I used their gold shade, like actually pressed glitter gold shade. It was beautiful. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So I will link that in the cards if you want to check that out as well. But that was like two years ago, I think it was 2019. I cannot believe it's gonna be 2022 in a few days. By the time you see this, honestly, it'll probably be like the next day, <laughs> depending on when I can get this edited. And I'm hoping I can get it edited by Thursday and up Thursday, which will be the 31st. No, it'll be the 29th. No, God, it'll be the 30th. <laughs> I do find when applying 
especially shimmer shadows sometimes using the finger works like 10 times better than just using a brush it comes out more pigmented but that's just me in my opinion um i think next i'm going to go in with this photograph no phonograph phonograph whatever this shade right here i'm going to use my finger as well and i'm going to put that in the middle between the two it'll just be like a transition between the two shades So I'm gonna go back in with that gold shade. I'm gonna try it by wetting my brush. Okay, yeah, that applies a little bit better with the brush. So, I'm gonna pack that on. I'm gonna take this brush again, and I'm gonna go in with this Lindy Hop. So it's the darkest brown shade of the palette. Again, focusing more on the outer portion of the crease and the eye. I had a vlog that I filmed before Christmas. It was like December 18th through, or maybe it was the 15th through the 18th. I think that sounds better. That sounds about right. Anyway, I'm like debating on posting it because it's already past Christmas now. And it's honestly, it's not that great of quality. I can still post it if you guys want to see it. It's also gonna be kind of long. I might just post it anyway, but I don't know, I'm still debating. It's just like random stuff, like from wrapping presents to chit-chatting to, honestly, I get deep for a minute towards the end of the vlog as to why I feel like I don't have friends, why I haven't had luck with friends, why the word friend is just hard for me to just like throw around and just say. I feel like I'm, I'm getting over it though as far as like using the word friend i never really used to use that word i was always using acquaintance and just i don't know i, I wouldn't really call people my friend i'm getting better at it the older i get i feel like i'm just letting go of things that is holding grudges over but i don't know i'm just i'm a weirdo let me tell you but if you want to hear about that it'll be in that vlog if i decide to post it we'll see if you want to see it, let me know. But anyway, I'm really liking this. I haven't done like an actual smoky look in a while. I'm digging this. So we're going to do our lower lash line and waterline now. I just talked to my mirror instead of the camera. That was weird. Okay. Oh, I have a dark brown eyeliner. I think I'm going to use this instead of the black. Now that that's on, I'm going to smoke it out with this pointed brush. And I'm, oops, I'm gonna go in with the Lindy Hop, which is that darkest brown shade. Next, I'm going to take this brush right here is actually a Naked, Urban Decay Naked 2 palette brush. And I'm gonna use this and go in with this between Lost Gen and that sack. So this one and that one, those two shades right there. And just further smoke that out. Oh, I love a good smoky eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Lindy Hop, which is that dark brown and go over the top, literally on my water or on my lash line honestly I think next I'll take fancy that which is this silvery white shade and I'm going to take this pencil looking brush it's not as pencil -y, but it's similarly shaped that way and I'm gonna throw that on the inner corner It looks like it has some gold in there, unless it's mixing with the gold that I have. It might be doing that. And I'm going to blend it up towards the lid shade. Is this gold? It's got like a gold look to it. Super pretty. Throw it on the brow bone. 
Wow, that is really pretty. It's like, it's a gold shade, but it looks white, like a white, white shade. I think I'm gonna take this brush right here and use eyeshadow. So we are gonna take that brown shade, which is the Lindy Hop, and we're gonna use this angled brush and use that for eyeliner. Okay, I'm not really seeing a difference. So we'll try the Grand Dame or Grand Dom. It's that black shade right there. We'll use this instead. I just want something there for when I put down my lashes. Okay, I got, yeah, we got a little bit of eyeliner going on from the shadow. We did have some fallout, so I'm gonna try to gently pat this away. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Sky High Maybelline New York Mascara. I did this in my most, I did this, I used this in my most recent makeup video. Um, I also hauled it, which I'll link both of those in the cards if you want to check them out. Okay, so real quick, because I hear my son waking up, I'm going to go over the top of this with ColourPop Gin Ricky Super Shock Shadow. Um, I just remembered I had these, so I'm going to try to go over this gold and see how that looks. I'm going to use my finger. It intensifies it just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this on. I just threw some glue on the lashes I'm about to use. I'm gonna use some of the lashes that my fellow YouTuber friend Dee Dee got me. It kind of intensifies it a little bit. It's nothing crazy, but it's this beautiful gold shimmery shade. So. I'm honestly living for this look. It's kind of like, it's, I feel like it's super sexy, smoky, but it's not like just crazy outrageous for those who don't want a whole bunch of glitter on their eyes. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this on my lid just cause I feel like whenever I use um, lash glue and I put it on my lid, it helps the lashes stick better. My son just started this thing where he like gurgles his words. Um, or not words, he, he can't actually talk yet, he's only three months old, but he like gurgles. Like he's trying to say goo goo or something, it's so cute. Um, that's one thing, like I'm on the fence. I don't think I'm gonna have him on YouTube, period. Maybe like little clips here and there, but for the most part, I don't think I will. But sometimes I just wanna share how cute he is. So my camera's about to die too. Pop these on and then I'll be back after I feed him probably with the finished look so okay so I did add like I said earlier I added some of this super shock shadow to my lid I popped on my lashes and now we're just gonna do some lipstick and highlighter so I think for highlighter or should we do the lip first Mm, I think we'll do the lip first. Okay, so for the lip, I'm gonna go in with the House Laboratories Rip Lip Liner in the shade Myth. I actually don't have like an actual nude, nude nude lipstick. I have like pinky nudes, but not just like an actual nude. I think I need to invest in one. And I'm going to add this liquid lipstick. It's actually kind of drying out. This is my favorite liquid lipstick. I wish Shannon Rose would release more, but oh well. This is like the nudiest shade of lip I have. So now we're gonna go in with the, I can't find my words. We're gonna go in with the highlighter. This is the Iconic Illuminator. Um, 
It's just the original, I guess. I think I got this in an Ipsy. Maybe it was a boxy charm. I don't exactly remember. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, and then do the other side. One, two, three, four. Put a little bit more there. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender. So I notice if I use like anything else, it kind of takes my makeup off. So just going to blend that in. So just a really pretty glowy look. Tip there. I'll do it like that. So we added it to the tip. And now the bridge. I think this is pretty much the completed look. I could throw in some earrings. I guess I'll go do that real quick. Okay, so I found these in my jewelry, jewelry drawer. They are these beautiful flowers, like a nudie sparkly flower. Honestly, whenever um, I think New Year's jewelry, I think very bedazzled. Oh, gaudy big flashy jewelry while this is big and gaudy it's not really that crazy sparkly but honestly i'm not a big gold jewelry person and i just feel like silver wouldn't necessarily go all that great with this look just because i'm wearing more gold in tanned tan looking makeup so we're just gonna go with these i mean i guess these could work i mean i don't hate it this is the complete and finished makeup look you guys I absolutely love the way this look turned out. Happy holidays to those who celebrate. I'm wishing you all the very, very best. And I'm wishing you guys a great and happy new year because we're literally right there. By the time I post this, we're probably like hours away from the actual new year because I'm just, my son's yelling. <laughs> because I just, I have a lot going on. It's just hard to like, just get videos up and as many as I want, especially now that I have a son. But anyway, with that being said, everything I use, I'm gonna list down in the, in the description below if you wanna check it out. And I'm gonna go, and I will see you in my next video. See you next year, bye.